Hello everyone, this is Phoenix Tremaine and today I'm going to be giving you your spoilers for the week of August the 5th. I do want to say before I get started that uh, the storms this weekend threw my uh, power out. So we had a power outage and for both electricity and the internet, there was two different crews that had to come out. So that is why these videos I'm going to be doing today are so late. And also, I'm going to make them short so that um, you can just get the spoilers and I'll deal with commentary on, you know, different videos. But I just wanted to make sure I got the spoilers out to you now that I've got power and the Internet again. And so without further ado, we're going to begin with today, Monday, August 5th. Jack romances Diane for their one year anniversary. Daniel and Heather worry about Lucy. And Phyllis loses patience with Sharon. Now, this is today's episode. And for me, the best thing was Jan's, <clears throat> Jack Romance and Diane. Because it reminded me so much of old soaps from the 80s and 90s. How they took time to really allow characters to romance in between all of the drama. So that was good to see. And as I said on the live we had on Friday for the members... You know, the days of Bo and Nora dancing, One Life to Live, is a great example of, of uh, how soaps used to actually have a lot of romance in it. And I enjoy seeing Jack and Diane in these scenes. Uh, Tuesday, Victor and Nikki settle unfinished business with Lily and Nate. Cameron haunts Sharon. And Sally remembers a painful moment from her past. So this is the picture that you see that I'm using. Um, and when I first saw the picture, I thought that it was her finding out that Adam slept with uh, Chelsea, Chelsea, but it's actually the one year anniversary of her miscarriage. So she gets a reminder of her daughter uh, that passed and that's why she's so upset and crying. But on the bright side, it got uh, Courtney Hope and Emmy. So, um, yeah, this should be a great scene. Wednesday, uh, well, let me be clear for people. Last, you know, she just won an Emmy for Best Supporting Actress uh, based on the whole Miss Curry scene last year. And so that's, to clear it up for people, that's what I'm talking about. Wednesday, Jack tries to repair the rift between Kyle and Summer. Adam comforts Sally, and Lily second guesses her alliance with Billy because we know that Billy is not going to be able to keep Abbott Chancellor. Uh, Victor will get it, and Nikki will run it. It's just a matter of time. Thursday, Chelsea and Adam bring Connor home. It took them almost a week, but... Yeah, Thursday, they left Friday. And on Thursday, they actually returned with Connor. Claire causes problems for Kyle and Summer. And like I said in the members live, about time. It's about time. And Billy switches gears with Lily. Then on Friday, Victor pulls some strings to help Summer and Phyllis. I'm sorry, I did the same thing on the line. Victor pulls some strings to help Summer. Period. <laughs> and then Phyllis pushes Diane's buttons. So, yeah, in good gravy, uh, Phyllis on this hating Diane train. Uh, I know it got her in me this year also, but um, yeah, I need them to have a real reason to have a conflict. But that is it for the spools for Young and the Restless for the week of August 5th. And I will see you in the next video.